of the greatest challenges for any whiskey producer is maintaining consistency in their product, especially when the sources of the whiskey are changing. Today I'm joined by Brendan Coyle, Master Distiller, to tell us how High West is dealing with that challenge. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So the uh, High West Double Rye, it's loved by a lot of whiskey drinkers. We've given it 90 points in the past. What prompts you to change the formula? Well, this has actually been a part of the plan for a long time. Uh, we've always had the plan of working on to a, our own pot still, uh, whiskeys distilled at High West. Not 100%, but have to be a component of the blend. And so we're now at that time where we are phasing out some of the really old column still whiskey that we use in some of our blends at a very small amount. And we're working on to our own pot still whiskey. And so you guys are distilling. I know you ha have the title of master distiller and a lot of people have said, oh, High West only sources, they don't distill. Well, we've you're, been distilling for a long a time. Yeah. So, and, and now we get to finally kind of show it off you know, in, in, in one of our major blends. Um, we've been distilling really since 2008 um, at, from Salt Lake and in Park City and now our new home uh, at the uh, Wan Ship. And so would this be some of the first whiskey that you guys distill? Uh, not exactly. I mean, there'll be some stuff that worked in. You know, some of the first things that we did was uh, Valley Tan mm -hmm. um, and, and released that. But uh, there's some very um, early whiskeys that we did in here. This is basically a blend of four to seven-year-old High West pot still whiskey in this blend. And what about the whiskey that it's replacing in the blend? So that was a 16-year-old column still whiskey and some older stuff like that. And so what we did is we designed a flavor profile that gave the same attributes into the blend that that old column still whiskey did, like the wood characters, some of the higher fruit characters. And so that's what you're going to really see come out of the High West component. And how is it that you can replace a much older whiskey with a much younger one and still get a good result? So it's not about age, it's not the whole, that's not the whole uh, picture there. And what we're really doing is we want to imply richness, heavy bodied, uh, uh, a full palate on the pot still whiskey and that drive that fruit and drive that wood character in there. So it's really not all about age. And what we did is we designed a pot still whiskey that gives the same attributes as the, the old column still whiskey did in the blend. Cool. Well, we have them both here, so yeah. how about we put them to the test and Absolutely. see how they compare on their own Certainly. before they're blended. So on your left is the uh, uh, the younger component, which is you know primarily comprised of a lot, lot of MGP column still distillate. And mm -hmm. the great things about this distillate is it has that real herbal, that herbaceous mintiness, and that um, uh, that botanical character to it. Yeah, it has and almost like some uh, you know it's very licorice -y and, and uh, eucalypt almost. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And then along with that comes the spice, the clove, the cinnamon mm -hmm. uh, that really great rye whiskeys have. And so that's a real focal point for double rye is that the spiciest rye in the market, that, that real botanical character. Um, and so that's going to be a very very different character than what we're going to have in the High West pot still on your right. So first, let's first get into the MGP real quick. I'm jumping the gun to the High West here. <laughs> and that kind of character, that botanical spice character, that comes in young rye whiskey. The older you, you age rye whiskey, the more that gets kind of tamped down and you get more of those barrel sugars and that woodiness coming in. And so we really wanted to highlight that young spicy character in really good quality rye whiskey. And that's what Double Rye is kind of all about. But it pays to kind of smooth it out around the edges, to have some more wood sugars, some more woodiness come in, some heavier ester profile come in, and like a palate heaviness to it, just mm -hmm. a weight on the palate. And that's what the High West Pot Still Whiskey brings to it. Yeah, this is now getting much more uh, barrel sweetness and caramel and toasted marshmallow and, mm -hmm. and, and yep. like orchard fruits. Yeah, much yeah, stone fruits and things like that, of that nature. We tried to push the woodiness a little bit higher because you know only having whiskey that's two, three, four years in the barrel in the column still whiskey, you don't have a lot of woodiness in there, and so it helps to have a little bit more woodiness to round out that blend. So whereas this kind of comes across as you know, I would consider the pot still blend that we did here for the for the for the. Uh, double rye blend a little bit on the woody side probably would want to showcase it on its own mm -hmm. so as we move on to using more and more of this in the future the woodiness will come down to kind of balance out the overall double rye blend and so it's going to be a gradual change is that is that pretty typical of the strategy you know you don't just make a big change at once you'll be just sort of introducing this a little bit at a yeah, time yeah it's um, the, the the finished flavor profile double rye should remain unchanged mm -hmm. and the point is to have consistency in that flavor profile the additions, the, com the components that come together to make up that blend, those change over time. So we're always kind of modifying the blends as we move through the seasons, but we're always trying to keep that spicy rye whiskey, that double rye flavor profile unchanged year in and year out. So we will use more of our High West Own Make Pot Still in the blend in the future, little by little as we go through the years. But that flavor component that it gives, the attributes that it gives, that will change over time to keep that 
uh, final product consistent. Very cool. And how much of your own make is going in here now? Uh, it's the minority amount. There's, you know, there's two things we don't talk about at High West, and that's the, the percentages of our blend components and okay. the yeast strains that we use in our production. You got to keep a couple things secret, right? You can't give away all the secrets. Um, uh, but we're, we're very transparent about I have everything to ask. else. Oh, absolutely, of course. Uh, but it's definitely the minority because if we use too much of that that rich, heavy-bodied pot still whiskey, you'd really stamp down that 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 lively, spicy botanical character of that calm still whiskey. Let's try the final blended result and see if it measures up to the absolute old double I. Sounds good. So what are you aiming for in balancing these whiskeys together? So the spice and that botanical character starts off, shines through, you know, that's what we want to see first and we don't want to take the blend to the point where you're going to have, you're going to lose that really, you know? On the back of the nose you get that wood, the wood resins, the wood character and that heavy stone fruit coming in that kind of rounds up the back of the nose and it's actually even more impactful on the palate. Always a great whiskey. Mm -hmm. Well, I know this is a moment you guys have been waiting for, and a lot of High West fans have been waiting for, so congratulations, and uh, we're looking forward to see where it goes. Thank you, thanks very much. Yeah, we're already in the lab right now, experimenting and, and doing trials with High West Stone Make going into rendezvous and campfire and things like that, and so you'll see oh, wow. that in the future happen. I mean, ultimately, we're gonna have High West Stone Make in a lot of different uh, blends that we do uh, down the road. Very exciting, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.